I'm going to show an example of how the Edit Normal modifier can be used to improve the smoothing on uh, the model. What I'm going to show is an example of how we could use this um, when modeling things like um, nose gear doors or ge fuselage gear doors. Um, so let's just first of all just cut out some some of the polygons that we can use to be uh, not the doors. Now after we've cut these out, if we turn off the edge display, we can see that the the smoothing on the bits that we've cut out doesn't quite match on, um, with that the fuselage. And that's because of the way that the, the normals are calculated, the vertex normals are calculated. And we can see this if we actually put uh, the edit normals modifier onto all of these objects. Okay, so we do that. Let's just bring the display length down a bit. Okay, so we can see that all the way around the cylinder, yeah, each one of these, each vertex, so here, here, has got a, a normal, and that normal is calculated by the average of the face normals. So this face and this face get the average, and then that produces a normal here, which gives us a nice smooth look. Now, when we come on to the uh, where the the doors are, because the doors have been separated from the rest of the cylinder, they calculate slightly different normals. And as you can see here, see where the door is here, and how we've got different normals. So we can actually look that if we look on a straight down, we can see that we've got diff normals in a slightly different direction all the way along. Whereas where the gear doors aren't cut out, yeah, it's just normal. So how can we fix this with the edit normals modifier well what we can do is go into the sub object mode we can either select one of the normals and then we can actually move it rotate it and then depending on how we move it you see we get some strange results but okay so different yeah move it in different directions okay so you can manually move it if you want to another way is with the rotate so you can actually just you can use the rotate um, but Strange things can happen sometimes the way that actually it rotates. One of the easiest things to do is to simply use the copy value. So let's select one of the normals that um, is calculated correctly and we know it's correct. And then we'll copy that and then we can apply it by pasting it to the other. And let's just paste that over. We can actually do multiple selects if we want. Okay, we can paste those all onto there to give them the same. Let's just check it. Oh, we can still see that um, yeah, some of these are... Oh, okay, they're all in. So, if we now look at this without the edges on, we can see that now that edge is sort of blended in a lot better and you can't actually see it, even though it's still there. We can still see the one at the top, so let's have a look at fixing that one as well. Uh, let's just select all the objects. So with the one at the top, okay, we want the normals to be going straight up. So again, we can just um, multiple select them. Okay, and we could, this time, we'll just produce an average from them and then it will just average them out and gives us a straight up normal. Okay, and you, there we go, pretty much done. You can see how the normals that we've actually given specific values to are shaded a different colour uh, than the ones that are just calculated. So let's just then let's just export that. And we can see in OGL LOD now how the one that we've actually edited the mod the normals for is well blended in whereas on the side of the gear door where we haven't you can see there's a, a distinct edge